Sing a joyful song to the Lord, Alleluia. Let the heavens and earth rejoice, Alleluia, Alleluia. The heavens proclaim God's name, and earth in reply echoes back with joyful song of praise. Sing a joyful song to the Lord, Alleluia. Let the heavens and earth rejoice, Alleluia. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with each one of you. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Eleison, Christe, Eleison, Kyrie, Eleison. Kyrie, Eleison, Christe, Eleison, Kyrie, salvation for your people. Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on and earth, earth peace, peace to people, people of goodwill. Good we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give, glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord, Lord God, God, heavenly King, O God, God Almighty, Almighty Father, Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, God Lamb of God, Son of the Father, Father. you take you away the sins of the world, world have mercy on us. us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who on this day revealed your only begotten Son to the nations by the guidance of a star, Grant in your mercy that we, who know you already by faith, may be brought to behold the beauty of your sublime glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever.
reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Rise up in splendor, Jerusalem. Your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick clouds covers the people. But upon you the Lord shines, and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light, and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look about. They all gather and come to you. Your sons come from afar, and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overflow, for the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you. The wealth of nations shall be brought to you. Caravans of camels shall fill you, dromedaries from Midian and Ephah, all from Sheba shall come, bearing gold and frankincense, and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. O oh God, with your judgment endure the King, and with your justice the King's Son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Justice shall flower in his days, and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. The kings of Tarshish and the isles shall offer gifts. The kings of Arabia and Seba shall bring tribute. All kings shall pay him homage. All nations shall serve him. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. For he shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor. The lives of the poor he shall save. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for your benefit. Namely, that the mystery was made known to me by revelation. It was not made known to people in other generations, as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles are co-heirs, members of the same body, and co-partners in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Hallelujah. 
speak, O oh Lord, your servant is listening. You have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the king's, days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star at its rising and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled and all Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the, where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it has been written through the prophets. And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word that I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king, they set out. And behold, the star that they had seen at its rising preceded them until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star, and on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their country by another way. The Gospel of the Lord. The astrologers saw a light. It was coming from a star they had never noticed before. It seemed to be calling them on a journey, and so they followed it. And what did they find? The Son of God. By the light of that star, they discovered God's love for every person on earth, for Jews, for Gentiles, for all the races and colors that inhabit this planet together. By the light of that star, God had sent his only son to live among us and to reveal to all the peoples of every nation his eternal unending love for each and every one of us, his children. By the light of that star, they were able not only to find, but to see and recognize the Son of God in that small child born in a manger. Who could have predicted such a wonder? Isaiah the prophet proclaimed, centuries before that the virgin shall be with child and will call him Emmanuel, that is, God with us. And as God continued to speak through Isaiah, as we heard in our first reading, he proclaimed, rise up in splendor, your light has come, the glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you the Lord shines, and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light, and kings by your shining radiance. For the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you. The wealth of nations shall be brought to you. Caravans of camels shall 
shall fill you, dromedaries from Midian and Apha. All from Sheba shall come, bearing gold and frankincense, and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. The prophecies of Isaiah were realized when the three astrologers, the three wise men, the three kings, followed the light of that star and discovered, as it was revealed to them, the Christ, the Messiah, the incarnate Son of God. They, they sought and they found Jesus in the most unexpected of places. We can find Jesus, too, in the most unexpected of places. If we make the effort to look a little harder, with the Holy Spirit as our inspiration, and faith as our light. If we take a good long look around us at all that surrounds us and touches us, we can see Jesus in the most unexpected of places. He is in all the people in our lives, the pleasant and the unpleasant, trying to teach us, help us, love us. We can find him in our joys, and he is present in all our sorrows, reaching out to take our hands and walk with us through them. There is no problem, no pain, no difficulty in life, that Jesus is not present, trying to do what he can to turn them to our advantage. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is everywhere with all his wisdom and compassion and love, trying to lift our spirit. The three wise kingly astrologers followed the light of a star and found the hope of their life. Follow the light of your faith, and you will find solutions to many of your problems. God's love is being revealed to you, not just today but every day. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things are made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. 
it has been revealed to us that God loves us as his children. And so we have the courage to raise our needs and the needs of the whole world to his hands. For the church, that through our embodiment of your love and mercy, the light of Christ may shine within all the cultures of the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For refugees of war and violence, that their personal, family, and community lives may be restored, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those searching for meaning and direction in their lives, that they may find in Jesus the way, the truth, and the life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For ourselves, that we may remain open and attentive to the many ways you reveal yourself within our daily lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the homebound and those burdened by illness, that our prayers and love and the dedication of their caregiver, caregivers may nourish their spirits with strength and hope, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Connie Rebello, that they may now live in the joy of eternal life with you in heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the repose of the souls of Manuel and Aurelina Cabral, in whose memory this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And for our own special intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we thank you for always hearing us. And we ask that you send your Holy Spirit upon us. May we follow the light that is your Son and be willing to find him in the most unexpected of places, the people you have put into our lives. Help us to love one another as you love us. We ask all this through Jesus Christ, who is our Lord forever and ever. Amen. We three kings of Orient are Bearing gifts we traverse afar Field and fountain moor and mountain following yonder star. O star of one, the star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading still, proceeding guide us to the perfect light. Born a king on Bethlehem's plain, gold I bring to crown him again. King forever see, sing never over a soul to reign. O star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright. Westward leading still, proceeding guide us to the perfect light. Pray now, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, Lord, we pray, on these gifts of your church, in which are offered now not gold or frankincense or myrrh, but he who by them is proclaimed, sacrificed, and received, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. 
And so are the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven. We sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all who minister to us. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and St. Agnes and all the saints on whose constant intercession who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. By divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and, bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil. from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Show one another now a sign of that peace. Peace, Lord. Thank you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. One Lord of all One cup of blessing which we bless And we, though many Throughout the earth We are one body in this one, Lord. Gentile or Jew, servant or free, woman or One Lord of all One cup of blessing which we bless And we, though many Throughout the earth We are one body in this one faith, calling us to venture to the deep. Though our senses fail, your grace has still prevail, and we become the love that we receive. 
Bread of life, bread of life Those who eat this bread shall live and never die Bread of life, bread of life Your true presence in this holy sacrifice Bread of life Unworthy though we are You feed the hungry heart With bread come down from heaven above And like a grain of wheat We fail down at your feet Dying here with you well, Let us rise Bread of life Bread of life Those who eat this bread shall live and never die Bread of life Bread of life Your true presence in this holy sacrifice Bread of life. The uh, company that uh, puts out our usual missalettes uh, lost our our order somewhere. She said, I called them and uh, the lady I was speaking to said, oh, they must be lost in the mail. I said, uh, would you send us some more? She said, we don't have any more. But I know that there are some parishioners who have their own subscription to this uh, missalette and they haven't received theirs either. So I don't know what's going on. But uh, Paul Grimes, who is our videographer, uh, found the uh, readings uh, online and so I made copies of them and I hope that they helped some and if you would uh, put them in the center aisle we'll pick them up after mass. So I guess we'll have to do this for at least a month. Uh, we haven't received uh, February's yet either and they usually come fairly early so I don't know. We might have to find another way. These are the, the crosses the Lord puts in, in our lives. If this is all I have to complain about, I am blessed. And so uh, we'll adapt. You know, much like we have been doing this past year, right? We have adapted. We have conquered. We have struggled. We have made it. We're still standing after all these years, right? So I hope that you had a good uh, and, and happy new year. We're into it now. This is already the 2nd of January. And we're ready for the full year, right? Good. <laughs> yes. yes, Father. <laughs> I don't get enough of that. <clears throat> the funeral mass for Connie Rabello will be celebrated on Wednesday, January 6th at 11 o'clock in the morning, outside at Sacred Heart Church in Ocean Beach. This is the final week to participate in our annual giving tree, packets containing simple yet to be fulfilled requests of needy families who would appreciate a gift of kindness this winter are waiting in the box for your response after mass. That's a very long sentence. You, that's almost as bad as St. Paul. You ever, you ever read the letters of St. Paul? They, they are a paragraph long sentence. Try it sometime. It might be good. Read the Bible. <laughs> what are you doing, Catholic? Good heaven. <laughs> anyway. So we would appreciate it if you could be uh, generous to those in need. Share a little of our blessings with others. Uh, who don't have what we have. Let's stand in prayer. Go before us with heavenly light, O Lord, always and everywhere, that we may perceive with clear sight and revere with true aff affection the mystery in which you have willed us to partici participate through Christ our Lord. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. My friends, this Mass is now ended. Let us leave in peace to love the Lord as we serve him. Hark 